Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Equida. Hello friends, now we are going to see the conversion process of D flip flop to T flip flop. Let's start the discussion. So, your aim is to convert D flip flop to T flip flop. So, the first step is to write available flip flop here available flip flop is d flip flop we will write here excitation table for d flip flop second required flip flop is t flip flop we will write here characteristic table for T flip flop. After that, we will draw K map and lastly, we can draw the logical diagram. So, the first step is to draw the excitation table. for D flip-flop. So at the input side you have QN, QN plus 1 and then D. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So D is equals to directly 0, 1, 0, 1 you can write here. Directly you have to write the excitation table. After that we can write here characteristic table for T flip flop so input side consists of QN T and you have to write QN plus 1 so QN and T means possible combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so, for t is equals to 0, it is qn, for 1, it is qn bar, for 0, it is qn, and for 1, it is qn bar means 0. Next process is to append the table with d. So, you have to write here qn 0, 0, d is 0, 0, 1, d is 1, 1, 1, d is 1, and for 1, 0, we have d is 0. In this way, you have to complete the table for conversion process. Next step is to draw the K map. Now, the K map consists of input QN and T. Here, you will write 0, 1, 0, 1. Inside the boxes, you can write 0, 1, 2, 3. And for D, this is for D, K map for D. 0, 1, 1, 0. So, you can't make a group. So, individually you have to write down the equations. So, here the equation is what for this one the term is QN T bar. And for this one QN bar T. So, the finally equation is D is equals to QN T bar plus QN bar T. Or else you can write minimized form QN X or T. Now the process of logical diagram starts. Logical diagram consists of available flip flop is what? D flip flop. So we have D terminal. And the equation is QN XOR T. So we have XOR gate. Over here you have to give input to D. After that you have to show QN. Here QN bar. And then clock signal you have to show. 
now the input towards this is what you have to give input e and second input is qn so you can give the second input qn in this way you have to complete the circuit for conversion of d flip flop to t flip flop this is your final logical diagram here we have used the xor gate you can use the basic logic gates also with the use of this equation this is again the minimized form any gate you can use this is the clock signal and these are the outputs this is all about the conversion of d flip flop to t flip flop thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda